Hey, in this short tutorial I'll show you how to create a business directory website with WordPress for free. A business directory is basically a website that lists businesses within a specific geographic location or industry, helping people find and discover nearby places such as restaurants, hotels, stores and so on. In this tutorial I'm gonna use WordPress, the most popular website building platform, and HivePress, a free plugin for building any type of directory websites. I'll also use the listing Hive theme since it's a free, multi-purpose theme fully compatible with the HivePress plugin. You can follow the link in the description to learn more about HivePress and its themes, check its live demo or ask developers any pre-purchase questions. Also, you can check our video on how to monetize a directory website by following the suggested link. Ok. Let's start with the theme installation and navigate to the WordPress dashboard first. Since Listing Hive is a free theme, you can install it directly from the WordPress dashboard by going to the Appearance Themes page and then clicking Add New. Next, find it via the search bar and proceed by installing it. Finally, click on the Activate button. Once activated, it will display a suggestion to install the HivePress plugin. Proceed by clicking the recommended plugins link and then start the installation. Now simply click the return link and proceed by activating HivePress. Now let's add some extra features to our business directory to extend its core functionality. Navigate to the HivePress extensions section. This is a list of the available HivePress extensions that you can purchase or install for free. For our business directory let's install the following free extensions. Favorites – to let users keep a list of favorite listings. Messages – to allow users to send private messages. Reviews – to allow users to rate and review listings. And finally Geolocation – to enable the location-based search. Simply click on the Install button and activate the extension once it's installed. Then follow the same steps for other extensions you want to install. In this video I'll skip the installation of other extensions since it's the same. However, if you want to enable Google Maps on your website, you also need to set your Google Maps API key. To do this, go to the HivePress Settings Integrations section and paste the API key. If you have any trouble getting the Google Maps API key, please follow the link in the description to check our step-by-step -step tutorial. Now let's split this business directory into categories, depending on business niches, to make it easier for users to navigate it. To add a new category, go to the Listings Categories section. Here you can enter the category name, for example, let it be Restaurants. Here you can turn it into a subcategory by setting a parent category for it. Fill in the description if necessary and don't forget to upload the category image. When finished, click on the Add Category button. In the same way you can add more categories, for example, clubs and hotels. There are no limits, so you can add as many categories as required for your website. Once you are done with categories, it's time to add some fields specific to business listings. You can add custom listing fields and search filters in the Listings Attributes section. For example, let's create a website attribute to allow users to indicate their business websites. Here you can set the attribute name allow its front-end editing and select the attribute type. We'll select the URL type for this one. In this section, you can allow users to search, sort and filter listings by the custom field value. However, for the website attribute it doesn't make much sense, so I'll skip this section. Finally, define how the attribute will appear on the listing pages by assigning it to certain template areas and setting its display format. Then click on the Publish button. 
That's it! We have just added the first custom listing field. But let's add one more custom field and make it category specific. For example, let's add a cuisine attribute to the restaurants category to allow website visitors to filter restaurants by the type of cuisine. To do that, click on the Add New button, name the attribute, allow its front end editing, and set the field type. We'll use the select field type. Now, mark it as filterable and set the search field type. Here it's better to use the select type as well. Then, set the attribute display format. Finally, assign this attribute to the restaurants category and click on the publish button. Now, if you want to require users to select a cuisine type when they add new listings to the restaurants category, you need to mark this field required and save changes. Your next step is to add the attribute options. Click on the Edit Options button and add several options for users to choose from. For example, Chinese, Italian and French cuisines. That's it! In the same way, you can add more custom fields and search filters depending on your business directory niche and requirements. Alright, now it's time to add a new listing. For example, let's add the first listing to the restaurants category and do it from the front end to check how it's gonna work for users. To do this, go to your website, click on the Add Listing button and select the restaurants category. Here you can upload the listing image Enter the listing title, let it be royal, set the location, set the type of cuisine, indicate the website, fill in the description and finally submit the listing. As you can see, our listing is successfully added. Now let's set up a front page for your business website. It's crazy easy to add and customize new layouts since HivePress is integrated with the WordPress block editor. In order to add a new page, go to the Pages section and click on the Add New button. Firstly, fill in the page title and add some custom text. Now, let's add some layout blocks. Simply click on the plus icon and select a block you want to add. For example, let's add a more block to separate the header section from the main page content. Then you can add the listing search form. In the same way, you can add a block that displays listing categories and another one that displays recently added listings. Once you finish customizing the page content, you can publish it. To use this page as a front page, navigate to the Settings Reading section and select it from the drop down list, then Save Changes. Now let's take a look at the home page and the new layout we have just designed. Here you can see the blocks we added and also the optional location search that we enabled by installing the geolocation extension. Let's also check the restaurants category and try searching for a listing we have added previously. As you can see, the listing is displayed along with the website and cuisine details and we can filter listings by the type of cuisine. Also. There is a Google map that displays the restaurants from the current page. That's how it works. So, if you decide to create a business directory website using WordPress, keep in mind that you can easily build it with the listing Hive theme and the HivePress plugin. They are both free, lightweight and suitable for building any type of directory and listing websites. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can follow the link in the description to learn more about Hivepress, its themes and extensions. Have a great day!